Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Kingfisher's Trace Clinic today. I'm going to be showing you how to do the saltwater bottom fishing trace for Dogger, Cobb, other uh, name for them, and Kilbeck as well. They all fall under that same family. Uh, just remember to subscribe, to press the bell button if you like this video. What we require very simply is Nano Kendall rounds, our Kingfisher swivel, it's a three-way, number one. Mustard scissors. Our big glow-in-the-dark beads. One mole Kingfisher nylon. Okay, and of course, this is our trace that we're gonna be making today, our saltwater sports trace that's available at the Kingfisher or any of the leading tackle stores around you. I'm just going to open it up and show you what it looks like before I start making it. Remember, this will be one trace in a pack for the saltwater sports one for today. I'm just going to open it up very slowly. I'm just going to run through the links quickly for you. So that is. 1.5 meters for the sinker snoot, obviously attached to our swivel. One meter of one mole with our bead on and our nano candle, working up the trace. 1.5 meters. And again, this is gonna be one meter, exactly the same as the bottom one with one of our beads on. It's as quick and easy as that, guys. Now comes the fun part. I get to show you how to make it. Remember when you're on the boat, you normally got an eight foot uh, rod, so the trace is quite long. It's just one of those things when it comes to fishing. Okay, one mil um, kingfisher nylon, and what we do is we tie a figure of eight as a sinker snoot. So uh, to do that, there we go, and we go through it again. Okay, open it up, pull tight. Cut that off nice and neatly. 1.5 meters, I'm just gonna quickly do that. There we go, 1.5 meters, and I cut it. So there is our sinker snoot sorted out. I'm then going to take one meter of uh, one mil, that's 45 kilo kingfisher, cut it in half and just double that whole thing because I'm going to make two hook snoots. Snoots. There we go. Then I'm going to make the body part, which again is 1.6 meters in length, and we're going to cut that. So, finished with all the nylon, thank goodness. Two of our Kingfisher number one swivels, there we go. And because this is the body part, I'm just going to attach our swivels to it. It just makes life a lot easier. Put my glasses on. Okay and we're tying a figure of eight. And don't forget, at the bottom, just have a look, there's a little box and you can just uh, click on that and you will see how we tie our figure of eights, slowly. There we go, so three times around. Lubricate, pull tight. Exactly the same on the other side. One, two, three times, back through. Pull tight. Slide down. So there are the two swivels, 1.6 meters in length. We cut off all the little taggings that are attached to it. 
nice and neatly. Now I'm going to attach the sinker snoot to it. So we take that part, stick it on, and again, figure of eight, one, two, three times around. Pull tight, cut off. I then take the other arm of our three-way Kingfisher swivel and attach our hook snoot, the bottom one. One, two, three, back through, open up, slide down, pull tight, cut off. And then the top one. So again, we go through the eye, like so. Go around one, two, three times. Back through. Lots of figure eights involved in this one, unfortunately, but they're quick knots to tie. Okay, grab two of our Kingfisher size eight glow-in-the-dark chartreuse beads. Open my box and grab two Kendall Round no Ninos out. One, two Kendall Rounds, there we go. Fantastic silver hook in line. We've used them for years, they work. Okay, so there's your hook, there's your bead. We stick the bead on first. Then we take our hook, go through, and we attach it with a figure of eight. One, two, three. Open it up, there's the figure of eight. Wet it, slide it back down. Cut off the actual um, tag end closely. Go back down, grab the bottom one. And the reason, the reason we use the glow in the dark size eight is most of our cob fishing is done in low light conditions. In other words, late afternoon, early morning, and into the dark. It just gives a little bit more bling to the bait. Obviously, it's like a little lighthouse going, yeah, here I am, yeah, something here, come have a look. Cob are very inquisitive. They're gonna be attracted to the light, and obviously your bait's in front of them, they're gonna eat the bait. Three, four, there we go, three times around. Figure of eight. Here we go. And there is the completed trace. From sinker to the top. I was gonna grab a sinker quickly and show you where the sinker goes on and how it goes on. To attach our sinker, all we do, this is a 16 ounce, there's our loop. Go through the eye of the sinker, wrap it around and straight over. And there is the sinker ready to go. So we'll have the sinker, the first bait, and then of course the second bait. Your leader will then attach to the top part, and that'll go to your rod and reel. Guys, it's as simple as that. Easy to make, easy to work with, easy to use. The bait part of this clinic, and this is bottom fishing for Cobb and Gielbeck, very simply, I'm showing you how to tie the Kingfisher trace. I'm now going on to how to bait it up. We've got two baits that you can use, mackerel and sardine. It doesn't really matter which one you go for. I'm gonna put the mackerel one on the bottom um, and then the sardine on the top one. I'll show you how to rig both of them and they are very, very simple. The mackerel one, I always like to take it and I'm gonna just move that out the way is cut it at the back. Now it can be a fresh one, it can be a live one, it's up to you. All we do is we just slightly, ever so slightly cut it just until it gets to the anal part of the actual bait, which is that part there. Turn it over. We just flap him. We take that part out, throw that away. Because a mackerel is a very hard bait, we don't need any cotton with it. Take the hook straight through the bottom of the jaw and straight through the top, just before the eyes. Okay, so it's as simple as that. Nothing fancy about it. 
bottom hook. And the reason we put the mackerel on the bottom is there's a lot of small fish around, little shad, there's a lot of little chorchors, little redfish and stuff like that. So they, they'll eat on it, it's a hard bait, it's a lot better than, for instance, putting a sardine down. A sardine is a softer bait, so those little fish take them off a lot quicker. Okay, the sardine part of it, and how we rig that, I'm just going to take it. We just take a knife, cut it off at the back like that. Sometimes you don't even have to do it. We then take the top hook, and again, you're gonna go through the bottom, come out just on the top, because that's the hard part of the sardine. So you're gonna go through the bottom, like so, and then straight through the top, like that there. We then take a bit of our Kingfisher thick latex cotton. I'm gonna break this off. And we're just gonna give it a couple of wraps just to stop it from coming off when you're dropping the bait down. So wrap it around there and then over, back through. And I'm gonna show you quickly, slowly. There, there, there. At the back, back down and around. Through the top, back down and around. Through the top, back down and around. Come back there. And then all you do is you just finish it off by doing half hitches. Three half hitches will do more than enough to finish that off. Okay. And there we go. Top hook, sardine. Bottom hook, mackerel, because it's a lot harder. Simple as that guys, as simple as that with dead baits.